So what's up guys, War here. So today we're gonna go over briefly how to do a Echoing Nightmare inside of season 28. So the first thing that you have to do is find a Petrified Scream, which is this little item here that you can only get from a level 70 game. Once you hit level 70, it unlocks to be able to find these, okay? The way you find these is they drop in Greater Rifts, they can drop on monsters, but you have to be in a level 70 game to get these okay now once you have them you go to your cube all you're gonna do is right click in and it's gonna open up a portal okay now inside the echoing nightmare there's a few things that I'm gonna show you guys how to do but as far as your build it doesn't matter what build that you are actively playing there are some builds that are going to be better than others for this demonstration I'm going to be using the God DH set which is really really strong right now um, and when it comes to your skills you're gonna want awareness for your cheat death and then on your follower, you want whatever your follower's ability is. I know you guys can't see it because of my screen, but on the fourth ability, I got Fate Slaps for the Enchantress, which will give me a second cheat death. So in an Echoing Nightmare, you either lose from being overwhelmed by monsters or dying. Okay, there's going to be a bar on our right-hand side, which you guys will see once we get in here. And if that thing fills up, we lose. So when you first start your Echoing Nightmare, what I like to do is run around and find all four of the pylons. So that way you can see where they're at. Now, when it comes to picking these, you're gonna wanna wait. Okay, you want to wait before picking those. Okay, we're gonna wait until we get to about uh, um, current tier 90. As you guys can see, our overwhelmed uh, meter and then our current tier meter, okay? Every time we kill all the monsters on the board, our tier is gonna go up. And it's going to keep going up. Now, once you hit tier 100, all of the... Um, oh, crap. All of your... Uh, excuse me. Once you hit tier 100, meteors are going to start spamming from the sky. Do not get hit by these meteors. They do deal a crap ton of damage. Okay? Now, there's one more other thing to pay attention to. Is on here, you have these little... Um, explosions if you follow the explosions around and destroy those those things spawn monsters okay you don't want them you need to kill them as fast as you can because it stops monsters from spawning so you just got to pay attention to your mini map and see and or follow the explosions to that you'll see notice once you kill some monsters that you'll you'll see an explosion wave or like here it spawned on the map in the corner boom we're done Okay, so at tier, you can probably go at 85. We're gonna go to 90. And I'm gonna show you which order I pick these in. So the first thing, you grab speed. Then you go grab, um, what is that, um, channeling. Then you have to grab power first. If you grab conduit first, you don't get the boost on your conduit from grabbing power second. So make sure you grab power first. Now, at this point, this should carry you all the way to tier 126. Okay, you see the, the green meteor bombs? You need to avoid those at all costs. But the pylons, activating them that way will carry you all the way to tier 126 or higher. They will last that long as long as you have flavor of time. And, uh, was it? Yeah, flavor of time on your your follower really it should have been the gloves of worship actually to make it last 10 minutes but this doesn't take that long now the reason i say 126 is because if you complete 126 you will get the maximum whisper of atonement at 125 you cannot get any whispering atonement higher than 125 so unless you're going to go past for just maybe a little bit of exp we're at tier 129. I'm just going to let the monsters overwhelm me. This little pylon that just spawned, that spawns goblins, which give you a bunch of resources. But once you're past 126 or at 126, you just let them overwhelm you. In the past, in season 26, I think it was, or season 20, yeah, season 26, when these first came out, they used to give you a humongous increase of exp they took that away so there's no reason to go up to 150 
or hot you know up to 140 150 and try to get a maximum exp you can if you want but once you hit 126 you're done open up your chest get all your items make sure you do not miss your whisper of atonement and that'll give you a 125 okay i'm gonna go around and grab these items i don't want to miss out on these and that is going to be it where you're going to take our portal to town boom level off everything now the reason guys that we do whispers of atonements with the earth do we do echoing nightmares to get these is because the only purpose of this gem is to augment that is it it's the only thing you can do with it when you augment a 125 you're going to get plus 625 increase main stat on whatever you're augmenting you saw it took us about two minutes to complete so this is way faster than trying to level up these gems to 100 125 150 it's easier to get these level these up to 150 and get your maximum amount or like i mainly do i just keep these at 125 and i just augment and i'm set there until i'm really doing a big big push so that's the uh, just a little refresher for you guys when it comes to the echoing nightmare um in season 28 it really hasn't changed a whole lot except for the exp but that's how you do it so get out there do echoing nightmares augment all of your stuff and become just the pseudo legendary character that you've always wanted in diablo this is the main season to do it in so that's how you do it make sure to like the video guys comment down below and as always stay gaming subscribe if you're new i'll catch you in the next one peace